Doesn't everybody take their dog and cat for a walk in the mountains? Something you see every day. Well, kids, welcome to Canmore, Alberta. That is the engine bridge behind, actually, we'll use this shoulder because it's better. Uh, that is the engine bridge of uh, Bull River Sunset. Do I need to say it or can you, can you say it? Because that's tasty, isn't it? This is going to be a rock star day. Before we start today's video, just a reminder to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bells. It helps my channel grow immensely and I really appreciate it. It's July 3rd, the parks are open, but we're not in Banff right now. We're in the town right before Banff, the little village of Canmore, Alberta. We're about an hour away from sunset, so uh, we got some time to explore, but uh, I think the best shot will be on the bridge, shooting towards the Three Sisters. I'll show you that shot in a second. rundown about this bridge. It was built in the late 1890s, back in the day when Canmore uh, was a coal mining town. The west side of the mountains had the coal mines and they needed to transport it to the railway line on the east side of town. So this bad boy was built late 1890s and it's still standing today. Pretty badass. So I'm right in the middle of the bridge. Let me show you the three sisters here. There they are right there. So one, two, three. It's one mountain with three peaks. The sun should light it up pretty nicely here. As you can see now, it's getting some really nice contrast light coming kind of from, from this angle here. That's one shot. Let me uh, snoop around and see if we can get some more. So what I'm thinking for my first shot is actually not on the bridge. We're gonna go to the shoreline where I shot the intro and uh, shoot the big quote hero shot from there. Might put on an 80 filter to smooth out the Bow River because the water's running really high. We've had a lot of rain this spring and the runoff is happening. So uh, it's turning pretty good. I'm thinking that right where that jogger is, right there, might be a good spot to set up and shoot the bridge. We'll be shooting this way and we'll get the light cascading uh, horizontally across the mountains. That is the Bow River. It is really high. Normally, you can stand right there and shoot underneath the bridge to get the three sisters. I mean, come on. I gotta get my camera out. I'm all set up on the shoreline here. Let me flip you around. Let's break down the shot here. I really like what's happening here with this speckled warm light. We've got cloud cover coming from sunset. The sun's kind of punching through some clouds here and putting this really nice speckle light, some contrasty light. It's horizontal light on the mountain to begin with, but then you get this dappled lighting effect on, uh, on the mountain here. And I really like this bright billowing white cloud. It's, it's blowing out on the video here, but that's gonna be kind of tricky to get in the exposure. Hopefully I can get it in frame and kind of figure it out, but the clouds are moving. Um, I slapped on a ND filter, so my exposure is, uh, we're rocking, uh, let me just focus. Uh, four seconds, F16, ISO's 100. Got the horizontal, just a, an establishing shot. You flip the camera, go vertical. I really like vertical. Let me show you what's going on here. So by going vertical, I'm, I'm getting a lot of these rocks right here. 
Those rocks are creating a nice little side leading line to the bridge. Again, uh, F16, ISO's 100, 10 second exposure, going vertical. Let's see what we get. The Bull River is flowing really, really high, like I said in the intro, but the color of the water tonight is just spectacular. We're gonna now go onto the bridge. We're gonna go right about there where that little gap is from the upper section to the lower section. And we're gonna shoot the mountains called the Three Sisters, which are just peeking out here. Let's go. All right, kids, camera set up. We're looking straight down the Bull River towards the Three Sisters. There's a nice bend in the river. The Bull River creates a nice leading line. Let me show you the camera. There's the camera. Let me show you the composition. Zoomed in, I'm at uh, 24 millimeters. So I'm shooting in between the, the structure of the bridge. Nice leading line of the Bull River to the Three Sisters. Hopefully, as the sun sets here, the color will go a nice golden orangey on the Three Sisters from this position. I actually thought when I got here, I would do a, a shot from underneath the bridge, standing underneath the bridge over here, but I would be about shoulder deep in water and I don't have water wings tonight. So this is the shot. All we have to do now is wait. We're just gonna sit, have a cup of coffee, wait for the light to change. But I mean, talk about leading lines. I could shoot this way and it would be a great shot. I was thinking of packing in and moving to a new location because the clouds obscured the sun. But as you can see here now, it's moving across the second peak of the Three Sisters. Pretty soon that third peak will light up, then I'll pop the shot, see what we got. The lights changed a little bit, but we're getting closer to golden hour. We're hoping, but back here, look at this. How amazing is that? Everywhere you turn, there's something going on. So there we go. Getting a little bit of glow there happening. All right, so the mountain's starting to light up a little bit. Let me just get set up here. I might have to change my exposure. So I was at 1.8. I'm gonna go to 1 fifth, half a second, 1 fifth. Half a, I'm gonna go to a half a second and pop the shot. Oh yeah, that's nice. The nice blue turquoise water of the Bull River. Leading line going straight to the Three Sisters. Nice light on the, uh, on the face of the mountain. Awesome. Slid off the bridge, come down to redo this shot. The sun's gone down behind this mountain over here but <clears throat> the colors of the blue here are really, really nice. Uh, we're going half a second exposure. ISO's uh, 100, F-stop F16. And uh, we're going with a vertical composition. I'm using this rock right there as my anchor um, for the shot. Let's just pop it and see what we get here. Yeah, I like that. Little foreground subject. This shot is all about the blues, the blues of the water and the blues of the sky. By smoothing out the water, doing a little longer exposure, it creates a really nice mystical look to it. That might look pretty nice. Nothing really tasty for a sunset tonight, but we'll go back to the bridge now where those people are walking right there. There's somebody doing a photo shoot on the bridge right now with a pair of golf, with, with a set of golf clubs. So, so far tonight, we saw people walking their cats and photo shoots on bridges over rivers with golf clubs. Oh, and there was an engagement shoot. It's a busy spot. Back to the bridge. Let's see what those three sisters look like. I think the light is shot for tonight, but we'll have one more look here. It's uh, actually sunset right now. I might stick around a little bit after sunset because that's sometimes when the best color erupts in a sky is after the sun has gone down below the horizon, but yeah. Well, we lost the light, but we're still out in the mountains. Still had a great evening. We'll pack up. You know if those shots turned out that we took earlier or not. I'm not sure. I'm not really thrilled, but I'm not really dissatisfied because a bad day in the mountain beats a good day in the city any day of the week. In the meantime, and in between time, stay healthy, 
stay safe. I'll catch you next time. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button and smash that like button. Don't forget to ring the bells for notification.